Hi, welcome to the Mum's Eye View channel. My name is Aziz and today I'm here to talk to you all about me time, pampering, looking after yourself in the new year, getting rid of that horrible feeling that we sometimes get in December after Christmas, indulging in a lot of food and drinking and dedicating some time to properly looking after ourselves to start the new year fresh, feeling great about ourselves. And as mums, you know that we are quite guilty of not dedicating enough time to ourselves. I'm very guilty of that, but I'm making it my 2016 main goal to dedicate some time for myself. This year is gonna be the year of balancing the me time and the baby time as well. Obviously, the balance will always tip to the baby time being a lot more than the me time, and that's the reality of being a mum, but I do wanna spend some more time looking after myself, and I thought I would share with you some of the things that I do to unwind, to relax, and to make myself feel better in the new year, to start fresh, and to get myself prepared for a nice, cozy night in, feeling very refreshed and re-energized. So take the kids to the grandparents or let daddy do all the work that day, find yourself a nice quiet corner in your house and get all your stuff ready to have a nice relaxing time. The first thing I do is to get myself in that mindset that this is gonna be time all about me. No overwhelming needs to go and tidy up the baby toys or to go and change a nappy or to put a load of washing in the washing machine. All of that can wait. As long as the baby is okay and being looked after, everything else can wait. Next, I like to put on something to watch which will make me get out of my own mind and immerse myself in something for a few minutes. I usually find something to watch on Netflix. If not, then I'll pop on some YouTube videos from my subscriptions list and just binge watch them all. To set the mood around me, I like to have something smelling nice. I'm not much of a candle person, so I usually prefer to go for some kind of a room diffuser. I like the Yankee Candle Reed Diffuser in soft cotton because it's such a lovely, fresh smell and it just makes me feel really peaceful and calm. There's nothing better than soaking up in the bath and relaxing, but since having a baby, Baths have become such an indulgent thing for me, so whenever I get the chance, I always like to have a very calming and re-energizing bath. The Asda De-Stress Bath Soak is really good because it's really fresh and it always makes me feel replenished and relaxed. Usually when I'm doing a proper looking after myself pamper, I like to put on a hair mask, which will help to nourish your hair. I like this mask from Dove, which is the Advanced Hair Series Oxygen Moisture Souffle Mask absolutely huge name. It basically deeply moisturizes your hair without weighing it down, which is great because most of the hair masks that I use, they're so thick that they end up leaving my hair really limp and flat. But with this one, the texture of it is so soft and just really light. So after you put it on and when you wash your hair and you dry it, you can still get quite a lot of volume and your hair is not weighed down at all. Then I like to put on a cozy dressing gown. There aren't many things in life that are better than putting on a dressing gown after you've had a nice warm bath. For your body, usually after Christmas and New Year, your skin tend to be a bit drier than usual because of the indulging that I mentioned, all the food and all the drinks. It just tends to dehydrate the skin a bit more. Come January, my skin is really dry and dehydrated, so I like to pop on some kind of moisturizer that will deeply hydrate my body. However, I don't like anything that's too greasy or too sticky, so I'm very picky with the moisturizers that I choose. This Garnier Restoring Lotion is really good. It ticks all the boxes for me. It doesn't feel too greasy. It takes a little bit of time to work it into the body for it to be absorbed completely. But after you've finished, you're not left with any stickiness or tackiness on your skin, which I absolutely love. The same goes for my face. I have to go for a more nourishing and richer moisturizer than I usually go for throughout the year. In January, I like to go all out with the very deep, deep moisturizers on my face. The Olay Regenerist Moisturizer is really good. It is not something that I would wear underneath makeup, but for having a cozy night in, it's the best thing ever because my face just feels so nourished. It doesn't feel tight. It gets rid of any kind of flakiness or dryness. It's a little bit on the greasy side, but my tip is to apply less product to not get the greasy feeling. But every so often I like to give my skin a proper deep treatment, so I then apply quite a lot of the moisturizer. Having my nails done is something that always makes me feel better and more put together. So if I have time, I will do my nails. I usually go for a more burgundy color this time of the year, but it has to be something that dries really quickly. Otherwise I don't have the patience 
needs to do it. The George Quick Dry Nail Polish in Scarlet Kiss is so beautiful and it dries in a flash. So I really like it and I love the shade which is such a beautiful rich burgundy shade perfect for winter. Then it's time to put on some cozy pyjamas and a nice warm cup of tea. I'm usually a traditional person when it comes to my tea so I don't go very far from English breakfast but at this time of the year I like to have something a bit spicier so I've been stepping out of my comfort zone a bit more and having this spicy chai tea which is so warming and so nice and it just makes me feel really cozy and homely. I don't know how many times I've said cozy in this video. And after doing all these lovely things, I feel so much better about myself. I feel like I'm on the right track to start the new year fresh, looking after myself, feeling good, smelling good, and there's nothing better than rewarding yourself than with baby snuggles. So that's what I do. I go downstairs to see my lovely bundle of joy and my husband and we all enjoy a cozy night in on the sofa and before I know it it's dinner, bath, bottle and bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you're having a lovely start to 2016. Please leave your comments below with your favourite things to do to re-energise and to replenish yourself for the new year. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Mum's Eye View channel. I also have a channel here on YouTube so if you want to stop by the address is on the screen right now. I do beauty mummy and baby videos so if you like watching these kinds of videos stop by and say hello. I'd love to see you all there. Have a lovely day and a lovely start of the year and I will see you soon. Bye!